makes a good clown. Uh, if they're funny. I mean, it is a, we have a nice, easy thing. Sometimes too much of a crutch. Is, are they laughing? But they have to be funny. A clown has to be funny. Some of these people, they, you know, like they spend two hours just riding backwards on a bike, you know, by themselves in a room, riding. They're not getting anywhere, but they just keep at it. Clowning is all about from what's coming at the depth of you and what's really inside you. And people don't believe this. Clowning is truth. The executive director here, Pat Osmond, wrote a grant to the National Endowment for the Arts to start a clown school. We did a couple workshops. People came from all over the world. I mean, literally had someone fly in from Africa. We had Europeans coming, so okay. And then we did a short, uh, about a five-month version uh, with 10 students, only working 10 hours a week. It was a, and it went well, and they, there was interest in them in the market. So then, with some help, and you know, I started working on a real syllabus, and we did a year's program, and uh, it's turned out there actually have been a lot of jobs, and it's that nice time in circus where the circus is coming up, Cirque du Soleil has really changed the whole market, and there's a lot more jobs for clowns, and the more skilled clowns there are, make more jobs. So it ends up being a good time for them. Tuesdays we start with an hour of Alexander Technique. Um, then we do two hours of Chinese acrobatics and come back after lunch for three hours of core clowning. Just all the essentials of what clown is. Thursday we start in the morning with an hour of dance with Mina Licioni. Then we do two hours of circus skills with Judy Finelli and Jeff Raz. And then after lunch we do three hours of core clowning again. On Friday, we start with an hour of mime with uh, Letitia Bartlett, two hours of Chinese acrobatics with Sha Hong Wang. Then uh, we have uh, modulars Friday afternoon, so a different guest instructor will come in each time. There aren't any grades. Uh, I mean, like I assigned papers to my second year students, and um, some of them handed the papers in and some of them didn't, and um, I didn't quite know, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing I can do to them <laughs> if they don't hand in the paper. It's kind of a clown situation. Uh, like, you didn't do your assignment, so. <laughs> but um, they're funny. I like being with funny people. <laughs> That's really important to me. Uh, and I like working in a place where being funny is a value. I mean, to be funny is the most important thing about being a clown. So this is a place where comedy reigns. It was interesting to work with these first-year clowns and see what their ideas of acting were and how, they're, how clowns are different from actors is, is always very interesting to me. Chinese acrobatics taught by Xiao Hong Wang is, um, it's, it's, you see, like you, you watch Cirque du Soleil and you see all the people jumping and flying around and stuff. That's what they're trying to get us to do. We um, start off with stretches, we do stretch kicks, we stretch for half an hour, and then we hold handstands until our arms fall off. Then we push up into bridges, which is you're bent over backwards, holding yourself up off the ground uh, until your arms fall off again. And then we do tumbling, you know, like cartwheels, round offs, back tucks, front tucks, and core clowning. That's Jeff Raz. It's, um, it's all over the board. There's a progression, and uh, basically what we do in each core clowning uh, unit leads up to the show. So we'll do exercises that might, to the outside observer, just seem like playground games sometimes. And then other times, it's really emotionally ripping stuff. How do you mix circus, theater, and music? That's been my interest, and now it's how do I get other people to do that? I 
think that that the best thing about being here is that it's helped me find a lot about myself. And then the juggling. I really like juggling. <laughs> so the clown comes from the deepest part inside of you that you don't want to show anybody. And then you put it on the outside and you make it really big. And then you make people laugh at it. There are some days you just want to go home and cry because it's so hard on you. And you, you go talk to your friends afterwards and you're like, oh, I'm having such a bad day because school was just so hard. Like, what are you talking about? You go to clown school. They can get pissed off and they can, you know, have attitude and stuff like that. Coming up with these crazy ideas about things that you have, you know, you just don't know where they come from, but they follow them out. You know, they follow out these weird ideas that they have in their heads. And, um, uh, you know, I, I, when I see that, I really, I can say, hmm, you know, this person might really keep on with this. Clowns are in a different world than most people, and um, the clowns who really accept that and embrace it and go for it are the ones that oftentimes, you know, um, keep working. But just being funny doesn't do it, because if you don't have the determination to work on it and the discipline to work on it, being funny won't do it. But it also, you do need it. <laughs> to be I think those are two essentials. Have to be funny at some point, and have to have a genuine relationship with the audience. There's a bunch of other criteria, but I would say that's the starting point. I really think clowns should have a passion for um, helping people to, to rise out of this like this drudgery that we always kind of get stuck in in life. Still, there's routine and there's monotony that always builds up, and I really think clowning has to come at that at 90 degrees and really just knock you off center and, and make you laugh and make you smile and, and bring, bring like light into your heart. Even if there's a lot of light there, there's, there's always room for more, you know? In America at large right now, you say the word clown and uh, you get this like birthday party clown image of like <laughs> that's a clown. It's like, yeah, okay, I guess that can be a clown, but I think a clown, it's the subtle clowning and like the stuff you see in Circa Waz or Aga Boom or Slava Snow Show, shows like that and like Russian clowning is all about like bringing the people up and I just want more people to know that that's what clown means so I can stop trying to find some euphemism for what I'm doing and I can just say clown and people will be like clown really I want to go to that <laughs>